already no we have hugo in the item shop he does have edit styles i believe it's only glasses on and glasses off it's okay i think he looks pretty cool with the glasses on not gonna lie looks pretty cool i'm not a huge fan of no socks here i always thought it looked weird with slacks to have dress shoes and no socks maybe that's just like a weird trend regardless his bag bling is the emissary em emissary bag i think i i don't know you guys know i can't read um it's okay i saw like two little smoke grenades on there a radio it's got the little cable there as well it's kind of connecting into his bag plane it's kind of cool and then the built-in emote is the butterfly knife so you are not going to need the harvesting tools to do this emote if you just have the skin you'll still have the butterfly knife emote not a big deal it is built in if you guys would like to use me as your supported creator that is piz zero he's with the zero he's got a little touch pad on his hip you know we're getting it yes the harvesting tools now these dualies i can get behind these are really cool they've looked great i'm wondering how you're gonna equip them that's what i'm here for they look really cool though <laughs> all right you know we're getting it yes yeah. here is hugo in game it's a very interesting color scheme i'm i'm cool with the maroon pants the back bling has that maroonish brown as well. Um, I did pick back blings already before I'm doing this little in-game showcase. So I kind of know how flexible the outfit and the back bling are. I'm going to say it's not terrible. You kind of have to not be as picky on some of the combinations I have here. But ADS is fine. Again, he has an edit style for his glasses on, which we'll show you as well. And yeah, there, there were some pretty cool combos that I found with this color scheme that he has. The glider I'm using is the Horn Strike. You don't like it. But I thought we could do something that was yellow. It's a lot more saturated. So the colors on him, it's like a really unsaturated maroon, really unsaturated yellow as well. So I tried to not go too crazy with the back plane combos. But then we have the butterfly knives here. They sound really damn good. And the longer I looked at them in the little, um, back in the hub in creative, I noticed that they have like a consistent sparkle that like runs through the entire harvesting tools i feel like i'm getting now i feel like a liar oh there it was it did it again so it's like a consistent cool little shimmer that goes through it i think it's a cool little little addition to these they sound great they're very quiet but It's it's like a really small impact sound I'm hearing at the end of the swing. Like if I were to like like tap my mic, if that makes sense. I'm hearing a little bit of bass coming from each swing. Like it's tapping something, like the mic was being tapped or something. It's kind of cool. Um getting a little burnt out of these I don't know, secret agent looking characters. I just hope they don't keep overdoing it. He looks all right. You know, the hairstyle's fine. Um, I'm cool with the pants, etc. I love the butterfly knife. He does have a built-in emote. And uh, where is it? Here it is. Butterfly knife. Ooh, a little drum roll at the end, too. Did you hear that? So I'm pretty sure you can cancel at any time. Yes, you can. You can just run. You can cancel the actual... Um, emo there so i got a crank for you guys show you what it sounds like impacting opponents because i don't want to bug any of my friends this early in the morning we'll just go into like a normal game and smack some random players standing still and then we'll be good to go um i do want to show you without his backlink as well and with his glasses actually on so i'm going to do that and then do the harvesting tool test on an opponent we might have to go old school here and just get an elim in squads here and hit them on the ground once they're there Someone's here. I heard you. Oh, it's my brother. Ooh. Where's the rest of them? Show me where they're at. Ooh. Ooh. Are they all that skin? What is going on here? Okay, buddy definitely a bot down here 
Is this what squads is like now? We're going down here. Sound test time. Yes. And you? Sound test time. What is happening? Is this what Fortnite's like now? No fans. What's going on here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Want to see the new emo guys? Built in. Okay. <laughs> well, now we know what it sounds like. I don't know, man. No skill based matchmaking in squads. I guess I kind of forgot what it felt like to go up against a squad like that just alone. That is, that is interesting for sure. Very interesting. So we have back blings on Hugo here. Um, this is from Midas Midas. Um, going back to that skill based matchmaking in that squad game. I was just in so apparently it's it's no more in squad games Which is it's kind of cool. Um, i've definitely been guilty of saying the game is super sweaty To the point where I don't want to try that hard to play the game. You know what I mean? I've i've been lazy at times for sure um playing fortnite there's some days where I try harder than other days and uh, you know, I would still get wins when I would try harder, but it was just like it just didn't feel like you could have any fun You know what I mean if you had an ounce of fun the troll like the, your opponent was very aware and it was just like Oh, I guess we just have to play super serious and I guess that's why Squads could be fun again It's not super serious anymore. You know what I mean? Like Fortnite got huge from being fun to play with people doing fun compilations challenges Etc. And when you don't have that anymore, and it's just simply serious, gotta win, gotta win. Okay, I already did that. It kind of, I guess, it just takes away the joy you used to have and just kind of trolling and having fun here. So this backlink on skins, it's kind of hit or miss on some of these. Um, I went through my locker quite a bit, pretty thoroughly to find some outfits that look well with this backlink. It's not an ugly color scheme. I think the color scheme is fine. It's just not something we have a lot of as of right now, but it looks great on Kit Bash. Sergeant Winter, I think he could stretch it a little bit here with his vest. This is what it came with. Frontier, he's kind of got like that maroon leather looking vest he's wearing, so that looks okay. Flatfoot does have, you know, the brown, the brown straps for her holsters and then a brown belt. So I think it goes okay. Like a brownish, um, maroonish type of vibe. I think you can stretch a little bit with some of these. That looks great with his shoulders that are dark brown as well. Catastrophe looks okay. She's an interesting color scheme to say the least. I think it's okay. This is one of those bag blingers. You can get around it not being completely 100% spot on. I think you'll be okay. But it is a very unique color scheme. Um, but in terms of combinations as what in what we kind of have as terms of common color schemes in the game There wasn't a whole lot here that I was kind of satisfied with so I actually had more outfits selected And I tried to pick the strongest ones there for and eliminate Showcasing too many ones that weren't super strong, but if I had to say the strongest ones here I did like it on bun bun because that maroonish brown kind of gives you an illusion of a chocolate back bling in a sense, I know the yellow isn't as vibrant as the gold that he has on, but it's close. On the Deep Sea Destroyer and Deep Sea Dominator, that's pretty damn spot on. I know it's not a popular skin, but you gotta you gotta agree here. It looks pretty damn good. There was something interesting about Ranger because of that yellow matching the yellow of his hair, and not only that, and more importantly, his vest that he's wearing. The maroon is, like I said, the maroon can kind of throw it off a little bit, but I did like the yellow on there. Something very simple like tactics officer. We call her PB and J. She looks fine. I think it's okay. So it just depends on how stingy you are with your combos. I feel like I'm pretty stingy myself, but I still think you can get some pretty unique combos out of uh, Hugo's back bling here. Okay, so we have Hugo for 1200. He does have a built-in emote 
keep that in mind not that it's super important but it is a bonus and then he also has edit style with glasses on glasses off i think he looks pretty cool with his glasses on personally so for 1200 i think that is absolutely 100 percent fair do we like the color scheme um it's different it's it kind of feels refreshing so the color scheme i'm going to give a two out of two i think the color scheme is really cool does it match a decent amount this is where i'm going to have to give it a low blow here i'm gonna give it a 0.5 um i went through my outfits thoroughly i went through back blings thoroughly um at least two two times up and down my locker on both sections and there wasn't a lot there that was really super compelling in terms of is there a lot i can wear there so a 0.5 is the outfit creative i really don't think it is at this point we're used to seeing characters with you know the holsters on both sides around their shoulders a sidearm as well glasses edit style um kind of boring it's not super creative but i still think like i kind of like the nature of the skin but i gotta be fair here 0.5 on creativity it's not super crazy to me and when i use it regularly i'll give it a one i kind of like the chill vibe it's not bulky no bulky leg armor um the the haircut is fine facial hair is fine the the character as well is fine so we got two four five six out of ten I still think it's a good deal for a rare though. So the, the rating is a little low, but a built-in emote, which is pretty cool. I think six out of 10, yeah, it's just not super creative. I think it's fair, six out of 10, but it's not a bad outfit. So the butterfly knives, um, these are cool. <laughs> these are really cool. I'm not a huge fan of dualies, but the fact that they're just not an ax or a pair of bats, I think it feels refreshing to me. I like that consistent shimmer that runs through it as well. I used to mess around with butterfly knives growing up. So it, it's kind of cool. Two out of two on rarity. Color scheme. Um, nothing crazy. It's kind of like they look darker in game. I will say that it's kind of like mahogany color. I guess you could call it like a cherry, a cherry wood. It doesn't look that bright in game. So color scheme is okay. I'll give it a 1.5. Um, equip sound. It sounds sharp. Impact swing. Okay. I do like this. Like I said, it, it almost sounds like when someone tries to not pop their peas on their mic and you get the every now and then you know what i mean like tapping the mic it kind of incorporates that into the swing so the swing sounds a little bit more aggressive for a small butterfly knife i'm gonna give a two out of two there and i'll use it regularly like i said i grew up messing around with these i'm not saying i'm really good at doing all the cool tricks with them but it, it's got a little bit of like a sentimental value in terms of I've, I've messed around with things like this before. So I'm going to give it a 1.5. I'm going to use it regularly. So we have two, three, four, five, and then eight with the, with the decimals here. And decimals are always killing me here sometimes. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Yoink. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. Thank you so much for being patient. I know this video was late, but yesterday was Mother's Day, and I'm sure you can understand. So with that being said, we will see you nerds on the live stream that is P-I-Z-0 in the item shop.